Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You. Welcome back to my kitchen and welcome back to my son now with short hair. Yes, it's been a while. Yes, Max. Max is back. He's living at home again. <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't put this in. I don't really know what to do to that. <laughs> yeah, I am. Here's me. <laughs> All right. Just like a year and a half ago before I, <laughs> she announced I was going to Florida State. <laughs> All right, so we are in pandemic mode, right? Yeah. Pandemic mode. So at the grocery store, everybody knows frozen vegetables are hard to find. Did yeah. you know that? They're, they're almost extinct at the grocery store. Frozen vegetables and ice cream. I couldn't oh. find today either. Oh, that's pretty scary. No ice cream. What I did find in the frozen section was this. Gumbo mix. Do you know what to do with gumbo mix? No. I'm going to show Max the most simple gumbo you can ever make. And I guarantee you that the other products are going to be at your grocery store because no one's going to be making gumbo because they think it's too hard to make, but not this way. So the other ingredient you need is called Blue Runner. It's probably at your grocery stores. Either this, you'd probably want two cans of this. These aren't cheap, but this is like everything you need for your gumbo. Or you Jambalaya can use... Girl Gumbo Base. There you go. And that I found in the soup section. This was in the international aisle. That was the soup section. So this takes care of having to do a roux. So all we did is we threw in this pot two bags of this, one container of Blue Runner. And the only reason why I bought one was because I had already bought this at a different grocery store. And this thing of Jambalaya Girl that was found in the soup section. Threw that in there with our sausage and I did not have regular um you know like uh kielbasa or um you know any of those kind of sausages so I just threw in a tube of you know like breakfast, breakfast sausage. sausage it is what it is now if I feel that it doesn't have a smoky enough flavor I will put a drop or two of liquid smoke in it have you ever seen liquid smoke no okay smell it that uh, I use it very rarely but once in a while if I don't have what I need, this can make it seem like it's smoky. So we threw everything in here and we're just letting it cook. And then at the end, we're going to throw in about a pound of shrimp, two maybe pounds. even more. Oh yeah, we have two pounds. Yeah. We're going to throw in two pounds of shrimp and it's going to be done and ready to eat. It's that simple. Easy gumbo. Yeah. I mean, you could do this any night of the week, right? Yeah. So there you have it. So stay tuned. We'll be back in an hour when this is ready to cook after I go for my walk and do some things like that. And I'll be in a different change of clothes. Uh, yeah. So stay tuned to see what this looks like and to see if Max likes it. And one other thing. We're going to put in some Tony Chachery's Creole seasoning. And we're going to put in at the start a half a tablespoon and put that in there. Do you want to stir Max? You go right ahead. <laughs> and that also is going to give it some authentic flavor. Okay, our soup has been on for about an hour and a half on as low as it can be. It tastes great. I'm not adding the liquid smoke. It doesn't need it. I added another half tablespoon of this. And then you can put this on the table also for people who like it extra spicy. So now we add our shrimp. And then that cooks for... However long shrimp takes to cook in boiling water of a soup, which isn't very long, and then we're done. All right, in goes the shrimp. <laughs> it's leaking. Had to be careful about the angle. Yeah. Oh. We got some juice factor going on. Yeah. Okay. If you've noticed, I've had a costume change. I exercised. I am now in jammies. And uh, that's just the way it is. Okay, shrimp are in there. So we're going to let this cook, and then Max and I are going to try it. Our rice is done. Get on our cheery face. Cheery face. Cheery face. Cheery face. Okay, let me pour the, get our some of the rice. Is it, are we on right now? Yeah. Okay, there's your rice. Um, here is the ladle. It was quick. Oh, geez, it's already cooked, yeah. Yes, shrimp and fish cook really quick. Do you think you can make this, Max? Yeah, 100%, super easy. There you go. So when you're only vegetable, 
at the grocery store's gumbo mix, this is what you do. You make gumbo. Uh, you That's only, all right. You only got, oh no, three shrimp. Okay. Yours looks better than mine. Okay, it's gonna be hot. Mm. Yeah, I didn't even get any of the shrimp, but it's still very good, at least on that bite. Yeah. yeah, it's excellent. It's easy. You just get these ingredients. Frozen food aisle, international aisle, soup aisle. This would be impressive for me to make too. This yeah. Would, this would impress people. Right. And it's that easy. Right. And you know what? You know what's served really well with this? A fresh loaf of French bread. Because in you know, New Orleans, they're French, Creole. So French bread with a lot of butter slathered on it is a perfect side to this. And you are set. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. <laughs> Thank you, Max, for entertaining me and learning how to make this dish. Yes. And check out next week's episodes. Bye.